So you're going to learn now about combining like terms with negative coefficients. Let me start with a simple expression like 3 plus 4. Okay, we know that 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, that's super easy. And now we have this other idea of 3x plus 4x. Well, just to let you know, 3x plus 4x is 7x. Now, let me break this down a little bit further, though. Uh, first off, this means 3 times some number plus four times some number. And it's a pretty bold statement that three times a number plus four times a number is seven times that same number. And we could break this down using the distributive property where we could, we could call this three plus four times that number. And three plus four is obviously seven times the number. And, and let me further mention that if I erase this here, let me put a number in for x. Let's say that x, uh, x equals 2. Okay, if x were 2, let me, uh, let me uh, put that in that 2. Then what we would have is 3 times 2 plus 4 times 2. And that should be equal to 7 times 2. Well, 3 times 2... That is, I'm trying to determine on a color here. Three times two is six, and four times two is eight. And seven times two is 14. And yeah, six plus eight is 14. So 14 equals 14, and that checks out. So that works. And that's really the core of combining like terms, where this right here, that's called each individual thing. I guess is a term. And the terms are separated by the addition sign. So terms are separated by addition or subtraction. Now I could further use this idea to have maybe uh, 2x minus 5x. And so this right here is, okay, okay, that's a term. And ah, that's a term. So terms can be separated by addition or subtraction. And for this, I would just take a look at, well, what's 2 minus 5? That's negative 3. And it, you can throw the x on there. So 2x minus 3x is negative 3x. There's also something else to notice here, that if I have x plus, let's say, 4x, well, x, that's the same thing as saying you have 1x. So, four at one, so x plus 4x is the same as 5x. Now, at the top here, it's saying that we're talking about combining like terms. So that's what's happening. I've combined the like terms. Like I, These are called like terms. And let me show an example of something would, that would not be like terms. Like if I had, uh, let's say, 3x plus 2 plus 8y plus uh, 5x. Now, the like terms would only be the variables right here. So, so if I were to rewrite this, I could, using the commutative property, I could slide these around. So I could rewrite this as 3x plus 5x. I could bring, that, bring them close together. Uh, then I could say plus 8y plus 2. So I wrote down all the same stuff. I just kind of slid them around. Well, I can, as it's called, combine these like terms to call it 8x. So that part would be 8x and then plus 8y plus 2. And now I cannot combine these at all. This is as simple as you can make it because you would have to combine like terms, which means they have the same letter. And this one doesn't even have a letter, or letters in math we call variables. So if this has no variable, has no like terms. There are no other y terms here to combine this with, and there are no other x terms to combine with. So this would be a fully simplified algebraic expression. Now the last part of this that I should say is uh, we have coefficients. 
Now, what is a coefficient? I've actually written many coefficients on here. A coefficient is simply the number that's being multiplied by the variable. So here, the coefficient is 5. And here, for this one, the coefficient is positive 1. And for this one, it's positive 4. Ah, but what we will see, let's see, let me find it here, this one right here. What do you think the coefficient is for this one here? Well, what we could do is we could rewrite this as 2x plus a negative 5x, right? And if I put this in parentheses, I would do that simply because I'm separating the operation of addition from the sign of the negative. And so we can see here that this is actually, this survives as a negative 5. So the, the coefficient, the coefficient of this term right here is the co same as the coefficient for this, which is negative 5. So this right here is the coefficient coefficient of that term. So that's what you got to know about combining like terms. I have one more here where if I were to give you the expression of let's say negative 4x plus, uh, ooh, not plus, how about minus negative 8x eh, plus 6? What do you think that would be? Well, my students know about this positive peanut. You could put a peanut around this. Everything's positive. That's negative 4 plus 8, which is positive 4x. And then I have this plus 6 here, and I can't combine those any further. This is the fully simplified algebraic expression, 4x plus 6. All right, that's all I have to say for now. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.